Okay, there we go. So today I'm talking about still calc, the section 2.1 derivatives, but I want to do the derivatives. So I really, really want to just stick away to what's happening in the math, but I really feel like this is the creme de la creme of what we studied over our last test, and I really like this section. So I'm going to go over one example of what the difference quotient, quotient I'm going to write it like this, of what this really means. And so how do we solve a problem like that? Because that can get, this, this, this could look pretty scary to someone. So we're, if we're going to solve using this equation right here, f of x equals x cubed plus 2x. Not an easy example, not a hard example. And so what I'm going to try to show you is that the derivative is 3x squared plus 2. Okay, so this should be the answer if we do it right. And in a next t and, t and tomorrow, I'm going to show you how you can do that in your this derivative in your head. So stick around. So we're going to find the limit. So f prime of x equals the limit as delta x approaches 0. So basically, if we go back to yesterday's, as this distance from C to del this, this is delta x, right? As this number moves to 0, right, where does this get to? So that's making that, it's getting the C and the delta x point infinitely close together to the point where it's one point, if we remember back to limits. Okay, so limit as f of x plus delta x Boop. minus, so I'm just writing this again, f of x over delta x. We're going to write this a lot. You need to be able to remember this function. Okay. So what is f of x plus delta x, right? That's confusing. So here's what that's really going to look like. So it's the function of this. It's this but in every x position, if that makes sense. So it's going to look like x plus delta x cubed plus 2 times x plus delta x minus x cubed plus 2x over, all over, delta x. Okay, now we're back. So I've distributed this piece out into this and this, and that moves down there, and delta x on the bottom, right? So now we've got to work through this. And this is kind of where it gets fun. So I'm going to do this piece and this piece first, kind of over here. And we're going to, I'm going to ignore that bit for a bit. Okay, so I have two x plus 2 times delta x minus x cubed minus 2x. A place for mistakes is right here, is where you can forget to distribute this one negative 1 to both units. Don't get the negative x cubed plus 2x. That's wrong. It's like that. Okay. But now we need a cubic of this, which you're like, oh no. So what we're going to do is remember Pascal's triangle. So, oops, I did it wrong. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay, this is as far as Pascal's triangle we need. So, this is to the 0 power, this is to the 1st power, this is to the 2nd power, and this is to the 3rd power. This is the third one we need. Okay, so we're going to multiply it out. I'm going to write my 1 my 3, my 3, my 1, okay, so it's going to be 1x cubed, x squared x, and then we go the back way, 1 delta x cubed, delta x squared, delta x, like that, okay, so that's this part plus 2x 
plus 2 delta x minus x cubed minus 2x, right? All this piece. And these are just added together. So now that all these terms are adding, let's see if we can get rid of anything. So the 2x's right here, 2x and 2x, right? They cancel out. And still remember the denominator. We'll draw it under here. We're still all over delta x. Okay. And so let's see if we have anything else. Oh, here's an x cubed. And the x cubed over here. That'll cancel out. I don't see anything else that will cancel out. But I also notice that everything has a delta x in it. Okay? So we're going to pull the delta x out by factoring it out. So we're going to have 3x squared plus 3 delta x plus delta x squared right so we've done this one we did this one we did this one and then plus 2 so now we've hit all our we've hit all of our terms in this long thing they've either been crossed out or moved down and this is all over delta x and so now we can cross out these delta x's because they make a giant 1 right 2 divided by 2 is 1 anything multiplied by 1 is itself. So on the top we have 3x squared plus 3 delta x plus delta x squared plus 2. Now you're probably like, hey, that's not like this. Well, don't forget your limit notation. We should have been writing that the whole way. Limit as delta x approaches 0 right here limit as delta x approaches 0 and still right here so we'll write it one more time the limit as delta x approaches 0 for 3x squared plus 3 delta x plus delta x squared plus 2 and now if we go back to solving limits we're just going to use direct substitution okay and we're going to plug in zeros for delta x so this one becomes a zero and this one becomes a zero and so anything times zero turns into zero so we don't care about that and we don't care about that and so we get this equals f prime of x we said that up here so that's just coming down there and so we get f prime of x, or the derivative of f of x, equals 3x squared, this term, 3x squared plus 2. And the 2 came from over here. And that is what I said it was up here. Those are the same. Let's see if I can get it on the same. Yep. Cool. We did it. So, and then just a side note for my teacher, W to the fifth. If you know what this means, good on you. If you don't, leave it in the comments what you think W to the fifth means. Thanks for watching.